Hello, in this problem we're going to prove that every integer is either even or odd. So by even, we mean that it has the form, say, 2k, where k is some integer, and by odd, we mean it has the form, say, 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. This is uh, almost an immediate consequence of something called the division algorithm. So before we go through the proof, I'm just going to mention the division algorithm and then we're just going to apply it in order to prove this statement. So let's look at what's called the division algorithm. And this is extremely powerful, and it has a lot of applications in number theory. So the division algorithm for integers, so everything here that follows is an integer, says the following. So for any a b greater than 0, and a, again, everything here is an integer. There exists unique q and r, again, these are integers, such that we have the following equation. We can take a and we can write it as bq plus r. And r has a restriction, it's strictly less than b, and greater than or equal to zero. So R is called the remainder. Okay, so R is basically uh, the remainder you get when you divide uh, A uh, by B. Okay, so let's go ahead and prove uh, our question here. So we're going to apply the division algorithm to show that every integer has the form 2K or 2K plus one. In other words, every integer is even or odd. So we'll do that by selecting a special choice. So two appears uh, twice, right here in 2K and here in 2K plus one. So I'm going to say fix B equals two. Then for any integer, and I'm gonna use a different letter, I'm gonna use N. So N is gonna take the place of our A here in the division algorithm. So there exists unique Q and R, and again, everything here is an integer, such that we have the following. We have that N is equal to two, that's our B, Q, we don't know what that is, plus R, we don't know what that is, but we do know it has a restriction. It's strictly less than two, that's our B, and greater than or equal to zero. So again, just a very um, careful application of the division algorithm here. We chose b to be equal to two. And the reason we did that is because we're trying to show that every integer has the form 2k or uh, 2k plus one. In other words, every integer is even or odd. Okay, so now let's look at the possible cases for r. So r is between zero and two. It includes zero, it doesn't include two. So the smallest r can be is zero. So if r is zero, then we have that n is equal to 2q, where q is an integer, so therefore it's even. So that's the definition of even. It's equal to two times uh, some integer. So n is even. If r equals one, then n equals 2q plus one, whoops, forgot the two, <laughs> 2q, going a little bit too fast, 2q plus one, uh, so n is odd, got a little bit too excited. So those are all the possible remainders that you get uh, when you basically divide by two, right, zero and one. And if the remainder is zero, then we get n equals 2q so that we say n is an even integer, that's how it's defined. And if the remainder is one, um, then we say that n is an odd integer. So kind of a cool uh, little application. So therefore, every integer is even or odd. And you know, even is a definition, right? We as human beings define even to be a number that can be written as two times an integer. That's how we define it in mathematics. And likewise, we define an odd number as a number that can be written as two times an integer plus one. So these are definitions, um, but the division algorithm shows 
uh, that when you divide by two, uh, those are the only two uh, possible remainders, zero and one. And so you can apply the division algorithm uh, to write uh, every integer in this way. And you can do this with other uh, other numbers. I can pick three here, and you can show that n equals you know three q plus r, and then you can list all the possible remainders, etc. You can do it for four. You can do it for five. You can do it for any positive b. So it's really really powerful. So I'm going to put a little box here to indicate uh, that the proof is done. So kind of a really you know easy problem, but I think it's worth trying to do it on your own because it gets you accustomed to using um, the division algorithm. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck to you.